Hi, everybody. Welcome Hi. back to GDPG. GDPG stands for Game Dev Play Games. You know, I at one point I did just start calling it GDPG just because it sounds it rolls GDPG. Off the, the tongue better. GDPG. Um, but this we never really fucker. like made that clear. Oh, Wake yeah. up, guys! It's you two. Um, oh, where are you? It's it, well, if you were paying attention to the last cutscene, Kujo. Oh, really? We're gonna play that game. All right. Um, so Alicia has left the party, um, specifically so she can stay back and take care of the issues going on at the bridge. Um, so that's why we're journeying into the mountain so that we can. Uh, ah, new character. We're, uh, we're looking for a seraphim to to aid us. Right, an earth seraphim. Yeah. What? Why? What? <laughs> what? What? I know. That was my question too. Is that like what sets him into Super Saiyan mode? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. He's gonna have to show you first timers how it's done. belong in hell. We could have safely quelled it. There was no need to kill it. Looked to me like you were just getting your asses kicked back there. Besides, death is a kind of salvation. For some. What? Why? <laughs> oh, that's rich. I can always count on the shepherd and his posse to be a bunch of goody two-shoes, can't I? Knew I was the shepherd. One of the uh, minor complaints I have about the animation for cutscenes and facial animations when they're speaking in this game is that it's. Wow, well, I understand it's supposed to be sort of like stylized like an anime, but so is Kingdom Hearts. And whenever Kingdom Hearts has a cutscene and the shot is here to here, that facial animation is the most brilliant. important. It is thing. the most important yeah. thing, and they animate everything. So. It, it's, it's, it throws me off sometimes because they're having a really dramatic moment and the, the most we'll see is like... <laughs> like it so, just needs that extra little teeny bit of polish. So I actually think I know why they, they didn't care too much about the facial animations in this. Why? Purely for localization reasons. If oh, so it's easier to... It's easier to just... Replace the audio. That yeah. way, you don't have to change the animation. You don't have to, um, you know, make the the audio kind of match an animation that doesn't make sense. It's it's just all around easier. And for a game that may not necessarily have as huge of a budget as a game like Kingdom Hearts might have, I don't know. Um, that would be a method of kind of like compromising with that. Um, now. Don't get me wrong, I actually don't know what the development of this game was like at all. It could have been, yeah. you know, super high budget and they had, you know, years to develop this game. But looking at the frequency in which they've been putting out the Tales games, I actually am more inclined to believe that they're putting these games out as quickly as possible. Yeah. And putting out as many as possible. I don't know if you've seen, but there's a new Tales game that's ready to um, release oh, in died. 2016. What oh, the good. hell? Why? Because he just destroyed me. Uh, no, no, no. Hi. I mean, Armatize, uh, Armatize, why can't I Armatize? I can't. Because I died. Oh god, no, I can't Armatize with Mikleo yet. Yeah, you can. Are we? Oh wait, we can. Wait, what's the Armatization? I don't know. It's the bow thing. It would tell you to. I'm dead. No, no, no. But so I, you should be able to. You should. Be able I to should still be able you. to. Yeah, that's the half of the point of the Armatization is that. That's the most of why I do it. <laughs> yeah, that's actually Armatization is how you. Armatized water. Can you swap fire. out her? Your girl? I should Your girl, be. Lila? Uh, it's up on the D pad. Oh, that's right. Okay, what? you're back in. Okay, and now we're armatized. Yeah, buddy. Oh, this was not a good idea, I think. What is his um, element? 
Who? Is it this guy. Feet? I think it's wind. Maybe. Is that what it is? Yeah, it looks like He is green and has feathers. I mean, we get another wind Which seraphim is, later well, yeah. on, but. Yeah. I think there are only really four elements, right? Are we supposed to beat him? Um, to a point. Oh, jeez. He's very that. hard. He is really hard. Because he has barely taken any damage. Yup. Well, the beast you killed when he jumped in didn't take much damage. You just had to last long enough. Oh, uh, that's fair. But... This character, I still haven't seen him come back, and I'm farther... Wow, really? Yeah, I, I haven't... Oh, so, okay, there we go. I wonder why he comes in so early. So, I guess it's a timing thing. I thought that we had to knock his health down to a certain threshold before this happened, but actually what I think it is is we just need to survive long enough to trigger the cutscene. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Make Leo's dead on the ground. <laughs> also, I said I'm sorry. This guy, what the hell? <laughs> also, he can wear leather straps, but he can't wear a shirt. <laughs> yeah. His leather straps, leather straps are a weapon. Which is a full belt, Well, he belt, does mind have, you. like, this, this rope thing. This weird whip thing, yeah. But they're not his leather straps. Yeah, where do they come from? I don't know. <laughs> they just sort of appear. I would honestly... He is leaning on her. Walk like, up hey, to him girl. and be like, listen, we need to talk about that chunk of hair <laughs> that is floating in the middle of your face. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't get rid of it, I will. I have scissors in my pack. I will do this right now if you don't. <laughs> I promise Look at you, that! It will it will increase your combat efficiency because it won't be poking you in the eye. All of his hair should be back in a ponytail. <laughs> Doing anything physical with your hair down sucks. Guys, I'm a cool anime guy. Hey man, maybe this will be your new shtick. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Truce, okay? I'm sorry for attacking you and killing your seraphim with all my gunshot attacks. Um, Miklio is fine? Yeah. He's was right there? Was that an attempt at being really bitchy? Because it was... Um... Okay. Do you even know how to mason jar? <laughs> I think this scene, full, the one you guys were talking over, just uh, solidifies um, Saray's kind of innocence or naivete. Because they're oh, just I talking totally about agree. how he's like, how could a seraphim kill a hellion like that? Well, then, and that's why this that entire interaction was extremely important because it says to the presidents that hey, Mary, maybe seraphim aren't actually the greatest thing in the world. Right, they're not perfect. They're maybe, not. I, I think it, it basically they're says they're not angels, you guys. <laughs> yeah, they're just as like morally diverse as humans can be, mm -hmm. um, and that's important. I mean. We kind of get a glimpse at that, right, when we see that Seraphim can also turn into um, Hellions. Hellions, right? Because it's like, well, if a Seraphim is so like righteous and holy, how could it have the malevolence to turn into a, um, a Hellion? I think that's the the sort of initial thought, right? But this really solidifies it that. Well, they can get angry, and like anger and negative emotion seems to do it, and negative emotion isn't evil. That's true. Well, that's kind of something irritating about this game. It's, ba it's saying that negative emotion can be evil. Well, here's, here's where I think that's actually not the message that they're trying to say. I, I don't know if you've seen the twist of the game yet. No. Okay, so I think the twist of the game will be something like that. Saying that, you know, these these creatures are being turned into Hellions because of their negative emotions, but not because negativity is evil, but because there's some sort of power it that's controlling this. Also, the assassin is their plot line is completely nonsense. Oh, I totally agree. Like it makes sense why they mu they have honor, right? Because otherwise they could turn into Hellions. But like every time they show up their reasoning doesn't really make sense. Especially yeah, like, why after we is he out attacking they... him right now? Like, yeah. why? Why is he yeah. here? I don't understand. <laughs> Other than the fact that maybe they're following Saray to kind of spy on him, you know? But if they're doing that, they wouldn't reveal themselves. They'd yeah. just stay hidden. Right, right. Yeah, no, I, I agree. It, there's a lot going on with them that just, like, seems out of place. From a writing standpoint, I just feel like they're like, let's just get these guys in there. I, I think that's exactly what it is, is that the writers were like, well, we want to make sure that the players don't forget about them. 
So by the time we but reintroduced we had just them, just run into them like not even what two episodes ago. So that's what twenty minutes, half an hour. Some, oh, yeah, that's true. We did yeah. cover them right after the um, that like mansion escape, manor escape, whatever it was. So you're right. It's not even been that long. Maybe they're just trying to make them feel important enough before they reveal who they are. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Or maybe they're trying to use this opportunity to show us that they're people too. Because they care about each other. I mean, that's great. But... Plus it doesn't even make much sense because they were in the room and at least they kind of caught... I'm sure they caught the discussion that was happening with the council people. They're like, oh, he's they helped there. you. They're the ones yeah. who helped you. So why all of a sudden? That seems that's a really annoying. Yeah, it's it's very confusing. It's not confusing from like a, oh, we meant the player to be confused. It's a confusing. No, this is like as bad in, writing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Saray, what happened to your usual archaeology fever? I'm quite sure there's all sorts of things to research about that shrine. I can't say I'm not interested, but there are people suffering right now because they're missing a bridge. I'll deal with it. There'll be plenty of other times for exploring. I'm glad. I feel I may have been misjudging you this whole time. Character development moment. This is entirely what it is. It's like, oh look, Saray has grown up a little bit. She's gonna He's be the villain. Distracting. I'm telling you. I'm tell. I tell I you. She's really, gonna be the villain. I really hope Lila becomes a villain. I what I think it is gonna be is similar to what Kratos was in. Um, his name was Kratos, right? Or Kratos? I thought, I thought Kratos. Kratos. Kratos in a Symphonia. I, that he like turns out to be evil, right? But then comes back because he realizes that the, the player party was right all along. All right, right here, right here is another big flaw with having this camera system. The monster we bumped into right next to this rock, right? And it, it changed it the camera. It spawned us literally right next to the monster, giving us little time to actually prepare a strategic movement. Like, I get, I get the, I get the idea of having a little bit of flavor. However, it's, I don't know that it is actually being done as well as it could. I mean, in this application, I th I think the monsters didn't respond immediately. Um, to in, to defend the game at least a little bit. You've been acting a little funny. Everything okay? Oh, sorry. I'm quite picky about the way things curl up into a tight ball. The way things curl up? Yes. It was the armadillo seraphim who taught me the true splendor of it. I'm disappointed in the hellion we encountered. Very amateur hour. The armadillo seraphim? I'm kind of not following this. The Armadillo Seraphim. Arma Walt and Arma Langston. You know, the legendary three-time curling champions. No, I don't know. I'm kind of not at all following this. It was they who told me of the world's greatest curlist, Arma Dillon, who left years ago on a journey to master the curl. What I wouldn't give to see that ultimate curl. It's my dream. Nicolio. Is she okay? Something tells me we should just let this one slide. Yeah. Armadillon, where hast thou gone? God damn it. They use the phrase amateur hour followed by where hast thou gone? It makes no sense. I, I brought this up in an earlier episode too, how there's like no continuity between like language. All right. Well, that's Here kids, end. what not to do. That's the end of this episode. <laughs> All game right. devs play games. It's okay if you're if you don't understand this armadillo seraphim either, because we don't either. Sure as fuck. Don't. What did we gain? From Get that? out of here, Barbie. <laughs> I I mean that's kind of going back on what I was saying about uh, Lila earlier on when she's like, oh look at the pretty little butterflies. It's like there are those weird things. It's like that doesn't make any sense. We have nothing to go off from. Off of from her. I mean, those moments are her trying to avoid telling you shit. Right, right. But it's the same. But then, what was the like... significance of this? Yeah, exactly. It's the other same... than like a. So she's flighty and odd. Yeah, it, I mean, really, the only reason I gripe about it is because it, it's very. Um, uh, wow, I just had the word in my head. Um, I don't think you checked that monolith out yet. 
doesn't make Next sense. Next time on anyway. Game Devs Play Games. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Chris will find the word he's yeah. looking for. In the meantime, have question a pleasant day. day and a question wonderful of the tomorrow. Day? Yeah, oh, question, question of the, of the day. day. Um, shit. Once again, every single time. What do you think was the point of that uh, fight with the assassin? Oh, okay, uh, actually, that that is good. Why would why? No, leave it there. Just leave it. There. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, like, I mean, do you agree with the things that we mentioned about the the assassin stuff, or or do you think there's more to it than than that? <laughs> Bye, everybody. Look at these crazy chips. <laughs> crazy chips. Who can't even dip those in dip? <laughs> <laughs>